What's going on, J Lockhart here? Welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be actually opening up some new products. We got the Arceus V figure collections. Uh, I picked up myself a playset. It's been a while on the channel. It's been quite dry when it comes to uh, product. Uh, I know there's been a couple things, and I'll just splurge out what products came out uh, this month and last month. Uh, but May is going to be a big month for product. Uh, the new Astral Radiance coming out at the end of the month. Uh, halfway through the month, it's probably going to be the Build and Battle kits. So hopefully I'll be getting some cases to open. Uh, but today, this is from my own personal uh, collection. I wanted a play set. I wanted the Japanese version of this, which you can only get uh, the promo card from we got the Arceus Legends game, which this whole thing is kind of based off of. And wh what I find cool about this product is that there comes with a Cosmic Eclipse booster pack. Uh, I don't see these like flying off the shelves, but for anyone that's wanting pick up, wanting to pick up uh, Arceus or no the ADP cards or anything from Cosmic Eclipse or from the Sun and Moon era, uh, I think the individual packs are pretty expensive on its own. So it's kind of cool that we have this, but let's dive right into some pack openings because it's really been a while. I think it's almost been a month uh, since my last video, and that's been a dry, dry month. So I did watch another YouTuber open their box and then their figure actually had a broken piece. So we'll be a little careful. All right, no broken pieces. Now this is the figure. It's a pretty small, but a lot going on on this. I don't know if this is supposed to be a sun or a star, but a lot of detail. We'll just put that one right there. Four packs, two brilliant stars, a chilling rain, and a cosmic eclipse. Promo code or the code card I am going to be keeping. And the moment of truth, the reason why I got this product was this promo card. Changing things a little up, a little bit up with my setup here, the over cam, overhead cam is uh, I got a new, a new desk. So just showcasing that off. I think you probably can see a glimpse of it from my last video, but. Uh, I normally have a mouse pad, but for the sake of this video, a little bit closer look of the code card, or not the code card, the promo card, Arceus V. Uh, it's the same Arceus V from Billion Stars. Um, and the only thing that's different from this to the Japanese version is it's it doesn't have the Arceus Legend stamp. So comic book terms, it's kind of like a semi-virgin version of the card. Uh, the promo cards are going to go in these white sleeves. I'm going to be using uh, these versions in my deck for, for playing in person. It's a little bit of a, a flex card. So put that alongside with the promo card. I think at this point, I'm going to open up all the product and then we'll just open up all the booster packs same time so the power of editing okay a little bit of a struggle on that last box there oh I don't have enough of the white sleeves 
That's fine. Gonna have to pick up more. And I guess we'll do black for now. OCD is gonna bother me, so we'll do the four. I wonder if I not I was considering of painting them because in the there's different versions of Arceus and different color waves. Since I have four, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other three. I uh, yeah, so that's basically about it. I uh, we're just gonna open up some packs now. And it's been a while. I feel like I haven't opened up a single pack since my last opening. But we'll start with the Chilling Rain. Uh, besides alt art cards, I don't think I'm looking for anything crazy um, with Chilling Rain. Because most cards are going to be bulk anyways. Do the card trick. We're starting today with Dark Energy. Welding, the weeding gloves, justify gloves, Corellia, Lediba, Porygon, Swirlix, Sneasel, Snover, Reverse Hollow Path to the Peak. I can keep that. And it bobbles in snow. So, first pack, no hit. So, no first pack magic or whatever the saying goes. Uh, path to the Peak, I'll keep to the side. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get a case of Astral Radiance of the Builden Battles. Uh, because the last time my little partnership with uh, the Upper Hand, um, he had better luck with the pulls from that. Except for the last case. I didn't even end up posting the video because of the last case was actually really, really bad. <laughs> But we'll see if we can get more content, more product for more content for the channel. Or I did switch over to Twitch in regards of what we got back to back reverse hollow path to the peak. Uh, and a frost sauce. I forgot this card was in the set. So that's a hollow rare. Um, streaming wise. I've, I've been streaming on this channel, but in regards of longevity for uh, views and, I don't know, all the statistics and stuff, I think I'm, I, I started streaming on Twitch. Uh, so, link in the bio, as well as, uh, it'll probably pop up here. Uh, check out the, the, the Twitch channel. Uh, Trying to figure out what I can do uh, to kind of keep it more fun or exciting in regards of streaming. Uh, but I'm having a lot more fun on Twitch when it comes to streaming. I know a lot of people are switching over to YouTube and that's where I started. Reverse Hollow Banette. But all the plugins and extra stuff that you get with Twitch off the bat... Uh, for not even being affiliate, YouTube is pretty restrictive with that. Uh, so it's been fun, and I like how fast the responses you get or the latency between when someone messages in chat to when I see it. Uh, it's a lot better. No Vs so far or anything crazy. But keep in mind, when it comes to products like this, usually it's not great pulls. Reverse Hollow Coughing and Galarian Wheezing. Uh, is this a good one? Each basic energy attached to your Pokemon that have Wheezing in there. No, it's not the good one. The other Wheezing is good because I think it just poisons. Um... I think we're going to jump into Cosmic Eclipse. I, personally speaking, I actually never opened up any Cosmic Eclipse before. I, I do have, speaking of, like, tag team cards, like ADP, 
which I want like the other artwork of from the set. Uh, so I think AD, ADP is in the set. Yeah. Palkia is in like the green version there. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't think uh, we'll go with these packs like in this order. Yeah, I haven't opened up packs from this, so this will be a, a first experience for me. I think it's obviously should be the same card trick. Four to the front. Yep. Oh, the energies. I'm so not used to seeing the uh, sun and moon era energies. Lily's Polka Doll, which is a pretty playable card back a couple seasons ago or last season. There goes the camera. I forgot about that hair cross. I didn't know this card was in a set. Uh, Bangoro, that's a cool artwork. Snow Run, it's like opening up a new set. <laughs> it's, it's been a while I've seen since I've seen these cards. Onyx, Reverse Hollow Lana's Fishing Rod. I wonder if they ever bring this card back. I don't know if I should keep it or not. Shuffle a Pokemon and a Pokemon tool card from your discard pile into your deck, which is pretty good. And a Golurk. So nothing good there. I'm not expecting any. Well, that just opened up like butter. Any really good hits. But it will be cool to have any. We got Psychic Energy, Cosmoem, Dartrix, Throw, Rowlet. I feel like they, wow, well, that's a cute picture of Spiel. I've uh, been using the same Pokemon over and over. Leap, and a Zatu. It's been a while since I've seen a Zatu card. So as you can see from the board here, or the my my new desk. Nothing to display so far. We got lightning energy, Dartrix. I think this was a decent card back in the, this. Uh oh, for this Ultra Beast, Tag Call was actually a good card too for tag team Pokemon. Cosmog, Chinchow, Slugma, Grimer. Swirlex, oh, fairy Pokemon. I forgot about that. We got Reverse Hollow Vibrava and Walrin. One more pack of Cosmos Eclipse. And we'll jump into, I guess it might be like my last time really opening up packs for Brilliant Stars. Unless it's in products like these. I uh, ending it off with the lightning energy, Mimikyu, Tropius, Bishop, Stuffle, Rockruff, Flow and Vulpix. It's cool artwork. Free attack, for ten damage. Piplup, Rufflet, Reverse Hollow Stoutland. That looks like there's a lot of text in that ability, and an extra gel. Hollow Rare. All right, so nothing in regards of any good pulls for the possible pulls uh, for this set. Um, how am I going to do this? We'll open up the Charizard packs first. And, oh, so many of uh, Whim Whimsicott's. Uh, we'll end it off with uh, Arceus. But... Let's hope for some better luck on these packs. Because we're not having any luck so far. Forward to the front. Got Steel Energy. Ultra Ball. We'll keep that. Tropius. Morgrim. Spirit Tomb. Magmar. Porfish. Sneasel. Duskull, Reverse Hollow, Electivire, Rare. Oh, I think there's something here. 
I don't know what to expect. Oh, okay. Arceus, Arceus. I have so many Arceus cards now. I really can't... Oh, we'll sleeve this up right away. He's like, I was going to pull the Arceus cards out of my decks to replace with the things, but seeing way too many Arceus lately. Arceus, Arceus. Arceus is the, pro the proper name, I think. Arceus? Arceus sounds better. It's Arceus. But I feel like I've pulled way too many of the... Like, even the Arceus V-Star. I've pulled so many of the regular versions of it. I need the gold and rainbow version of it. I have a couple cards left of the set to still collect. They're all the heavy hitters. Reverse Hollow Bidoof, so no uh, alt art or the trainer gallery set. But the Arceus V-Star, like the, the hollow bleed that was happening on the edge there, uh, wasn't looking too good on that card, but it kind of gave off like, I don't know, looked like, like a, a rainbow for a second. All right, Fighting Energy, Star Me, Dustclops. I think the only uh, Trainer Growler card I need is the Umbreon VMAX. So last chance for me to get the Reverse Hollow uh, Impidimp and a Kingler V. So we're getting the pulls from Brilliant Star, which I'm not surprised because there's a lot of hits in this set. We got a good handful left. I don't know. We'll see. Forward to the front. Water energy, hit mom top. Ultra ball, we'll keep that to the side. Kindler, cast form, chimchar, ball toy, axu, nose pass. I think I have something here. Execute, I'm pretty sure it's like a VMAX, but no trainer gallery card. Oh, okay, we got Kingler and Kingler VMAX, which I already have. Uh, is Kingler VMAX any good? Bubbles galore. Search your, uh, your deck up to five energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon. Uh, once it's evolved, it's a little too late to do that. Uh, this Pokemon also does 30 damage to itself for 240 damage, which is not bad. I don't see many people using that. Maybe with Arceus V or... I think this might be a good partner card with um, the upcoming Palkia card, Palkia V-Star. But pretty good in regards of Brilliant Stars. We got Fire, Beer Tick, Dustclops, Cleansing Glove, Execute, Farfetch, Shanks, Cub Chew, the Dene. Reverse Hollow Starmie, and an Ice Q. Nothing there. All right, three packs left. I have four packs, wait, four boxes. So far, only three hits. And they're all things I've pulled before. Nothing crazy. Luxio, Duskull, Purloin, Shroomish, Piplup, Trampinch, Reverse Hollow Professor Research, I'll keep that. And a Motham. Alright. Second last pack. Hope to get an Umbreon VMAX 
any rainbow Pokemon card, any gold cards besides Articuno. I think Articuno is the only one I have. The gold Pokemon. No training rally card there. Reverse Hollow Throw. Oh, nice. Uh, it's a full art Zamazenta V. I have this already, but now I can probably use this to play in a set. Not an expensive card at all, based off of how many people have been pulling uh, Brilliant Stars, but we got a full art out of these promo boxes. Last pack magic. So far, basically one pull per box, which is kind of expected. At least one pull per box. That would be nice to have more. No training or gallery cards so far. Very clang. Last pack magic. Come on, let's get something good. Piplup, Trampinch, Turtwig. Uh, no, nothing in the trainer gallery. So reverse hollow Chimchar. Last card of the day. A's Raichu V. So good playable card. I actually have a play set for a deck. So just having another one is cool. But yeah, that's basically the recap right there. Arceus V, Kingler V, and V Max. Full Art Zamazenta V and a Raichu V in four Arceus figure Arceus V figure boxes. Uh, so welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking out the video. Have a good one. Peace.